Retired Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano served on the State Department and Homeland Security presidential transition teams. He's also Vice President of Foreign and Defense Policy Studies at the Heritage Foundation. He joins us from our Washington Bureau. Thanks so much for being here. It's good to be with you. So President Trump responded to this new test by warning North Korea that, quote, all options are on the table. What are the administration's viable military courses of action here? Well, typically this is something that presidents say, and it's an important part of uh, the deterrent structure to say that all options are on the table. That doesn't mean that all options are going to be used or, or are even intended to be used. There's, there's some pretty big steps in the escalatory ladder here that that uh, between what the North Koreans are doing now and the potential for conflict, and it's very, very difficult for any country involved in this to be, to be seen really making those big steps. So it, it's, it's the standard warning to North Korea. It, it doesn't really portend right now that there's going to be a dramatic military option on the table because the, the plans just aren't there for that, not for something like this. Well, James, what does it say about Washington's diplomatic strategy that Pyongyang is still testing missiles? It, it, it depends on what you mean by diplomatic strategy. There's a lot of diplomacy going on. There's diplomacy going on with the United States and South Korea and Japan because they have to show a common face to the North Korean threat. So there's b credible both conventional and strategic deterrence. That's going on. There's a lot of diplomacy going on with China, either cajoling or threatening China to crank down on more entities to, to do something to rein in the North Korea threat. There's, there's not a lot of diplomacy going on with North Korea right now, and, and the prospects for that in the near future are very low. Well, how does the fact that you now have this missile flying over Japan directly change things in terms of foreign policy? As you well know, uh, the Japanese officials certainly have expressed grave concern about this latest action. Well, it is a provocative act. On the other hand, it is far less threatening than the North Koreans were, were stating a, a few weeks ago when they said they were actually going to attack Guam mm -hmm. and then shoot a missile towards Guam. So this is not that. It's not as provocative of the other things that the North Koreans have done in, in relation to a uh, um, U.S. and South Korean or, or joint exercises, including um, conducting artillery barrages, uh, sending special forces across the border, uh, attacking ships. So, uh, and it's also not unprecedented by how you, depending how you want to count this, going back to the, the 90s, this may be the second or third time that, the, that they fired a missile over Japanese territory. Um, so it's not unprecedented from that perspective. And, and there are reasons why they might want to do that other than just to rattle the Japanese. The, this is an intermediate range ballistic missile. If they actually want to test the range, the, the, the only way they can really do that and not aim it at something is to fire it over Japanese territory, so that might have played into it. This is the season they do that, but this missile, it was not a direct threat to Japan. An intermediate range missile is going to go high and very fast, so just by that nature, it, it can hit Japan. It's flying over Japan, um, and most likely the reason for the, the civil defense warning is once you fire a missile, it's, it's only like six minutes, so there's not a whole lot of time to analyze the trajectory. And even if you don't think it's going to hit Japan, it might crack up and pieces might fall out of the sky. And so for that reason, you would do a civil defense drill. But it's very clearly that, that this missile could not have attacked Japan because it's, it's a longer range missile than that. All right. We will continue to watch and see what further action might happen here out of North Korea. Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano, thank you so much. Thanks for having me.